Hi everyone, Sarah here. I would like to share with you some finished projects that were all purchased from Fancells. So www.fancells.com. I had three unboxings. How many unboxings did I have? Three or four, I cannot remember now. I purchased so much from them. I had four unboxings, four purchases. So this may be from many of those different purchases. Um, they're not done in any typical order. I've just kind of stacked them up here. I thought I would share with the special drill projects. So I purchased this two pack of bookmarks and they are both cats all special drills um, they turned out super cute my only issue was the back of this one Let's see if you can tell when i put the glare on it the piece of leather does not go all the way down so they pieced it and put tape on it wow yeah so <laughs> i was a little annoyed at that but uh, they turned out really nice oh and i should update you guys while i'm doing this video there was one of my purchases that had a diamond painting sent to me. Um, it was the Siamese cat with the ball of yarn. I thought it was a full drill, but it actually was a partial. And yes, that was my mistake. But when I opened it, the drills that were in the package were not the drills for that canvas. So I did contact customer service for Fancells. There was quite a bit of back and forth because I thought they understood what I was saying in the beginning. I sent pictures, um, sounded like they understood, but then they came back and it, they wanted to know exactly which drills I was missing. And I was like, all of the drills <laughs> because the drills that were sent do not go with that canvas. Yeah, so it took a while to explain that part. They finally had responded back to me and said that we will send them to you, please, note though it will take a little while for them to get them from their manufacturer so in my head i was like man i'm not getting them last week i got a package and i actually didn't even know what it was and i opened it up and it was the drills for that canvas so they did send them to me it took a little bit there was a bit of misunderstanding but i got them so super happy about that just thought i would share that customer service experience the next special project is the notebook. This one was a sketchbook that I got with this beautiful owl. He turned out really, really pretty. I love these big pearl drops. They're so pretty. Yeah, everything turned out nice. All of the drills, I had lots of extras there. I didn't run out of any with any of the special. And I, that pretty much is the case for most special projects. The next one that I got was this LED light with the lighthouse. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I did have a battery in here, but I had to take it out for something else. So I can't turn the lights on and show you guys, but it does work. So pretty, love, love it. That one was fun to do also. Uh, and then I have this little panda. He was too cute. He was more just fun. I do like these different shaped rhinestones they are fun to do pretty much you're just splattering them across the entire canvas he's so cute and then the last special shape was this cheshire cat 30 by 30. he's so pretty i love the colors and his big big eyes <laughs> yeah turned out really cute yeah so those were fun all right so for diamond paintings this first one is a rubber ducky frog. Um, this was one that my daughter Madison did. Uh, basically, she has been completing diamond paintings and then coming in and asking for another. So it's been really fun. I don't know if I can get it to shine for you guys. Uh, they do sparkle. This sparkle. <laughs> so cute. He's got his little rubber ducky on and all of the colors in there because I believe it's like a reproduction of an oil painting. Yeah, it's super pretty. This one was also one for Madison. Uh, this one, obviously we knew it was not going to be great, but she just wanted a Baymax painting. We did end up finding another one for her at another company and she's already received and finished that one. Actually, let me show you guys. It's not Fancel's, but um, 
It was from AliExpress. And I don't think I did an unboxing for this one because it was just two paintings that I had purchased. Yeah, it was the um, Yuhua. Y-U-H-U-A uh, China store on AliExpress. I ordered May 20th, got it July 7th. This pink Baymax was 30 by 40 round and it was $16.04. So it was a little pricey, but 30 by 40 true. Like this is Fancel's 30 by 40 and this is a true 30 by 40. So it is a true 30 by 40. It is really pretty. It was missing one color, but we improvised. It was actually just one of the shaded colors that outlines him. So we just used one of the deep purples that she already had extra of. So that's her Baymax that we're gonna frame and put in her bedroom. But this was the one that she did for fun. And she also, when she received this one and put out, pulled out all the drills, Baymax was gray. He was not white and she was really mad at that. So we did not have this many white extra drills. I do keep my extras and I do keep some of the extras that don't have DMC codes on it. But um, I had a mishmash and pink was also in the actual painting. So she left the pink ones in and just used the white and creams that I had and filled them in. So but he definitely is not. Like Hero at the top, he looks good far away, but if you put him on the wall and stand in front of them, he does not look good. <laughs> no, bad. Don't buy the stained glass ones. 30 by 40 fan cell size is not big enough. This was the um, 30 by 40 Fox with the square drills. I got to tell you, the quality of the square drills was amazing. It is so nice. There is some gapping, but not, um, not a lot. The only thing with this is the colors are so, so bright. And I don't even know if it's showing you as bright in the camera as I'm seeing in person. Like, I'd be afraid to put this on my wall because it's like, <laughs> but he is so pretty. I love the fox. It's gorgeous. It turned out really nice. And it was fun to do with those square drills. I do have one more with square drills. It's also a fox, but this is one of my favorites also. It is the raccoon hiding behind the succulents. So beautiful. It's such a subtle picture, but it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. I ended up putting um, some glitter washi and I actually glued this down so that it's down there permanent because I do want to find frames. That's the only thing. I have not started looking for frames and I'm pretty sure that the frames are either going to have to cut off some of the picture or come out. So I glued down this washi. I just thought it looked really pretty with the picture. Next one. This is one that I did um, basically just as a, a, a separation between the two Christmas prints because when I unboxed this one, the plastic I believe was stuck on the wrong way and it was pulling the adhesive up. So I took the plastic off and put parchment paper on. And everybody says they never have any problems with parchment paper. Well, I don't know what I did. I put parchment paper on. I stacked up all my canvases and put boxes on top like I always do to flatten them out. And when I pulled this one out and just tested it, the parchment paper was on too tight. And between pulling off the plastic and pulling off the parchment, the canvas was stretched right up here behind his head. So there is, um, it's like, they're not creases or anything. The canvas itself was stretched. So they're bubbles in the canvas, not in the glue in the canvas. So everything did stick down still because I wanted to do it right away. I didn't want to take any chances of the glue not being able to do it. And I absolutely love, love this painting. And I don't know if you can tell the sparkle and shine in his eyes, but I swapped out the drills. Let me just grab what I used. OK, 
Okay, I have been collecting some rhinestones off of AliExpress. Um, these are considered glow glass. They glow with LED lighting. So these four colors and these three colors, and they came in packages with all the different sizes. None of the sizes that were included in that prepackaged set are the right size to replace with a drill. So I improvised and basically did what you do in a special drill canvas. And I filled in with all different size drills. So that whole section in there for his eyes are filled in with all different size drills of all the same color. And I did it that way because of our black cat cheesecake has yellow eyes. And I just thought that that was beautiful. I love the way this one turned out. This is definitely gonna get framed and put up on the wall somewhere. So that is that one. Then we get into the bigger ones. My favorite is Pikachu with the Starbucks coffee. Madison finished this one super fast. There is a hair in there. She did such a great job. Now I do have to say, fan cells drills, they are good quality. They are not the best quality. When you look at them straight on, they actually look like they have a matte finish to them and they're not shiny straight on. You do have to look at them on an angle to get your sparkle. So I don't know if that will show. It's really hard to show sparkle on the camera, but he's beautiful. We did not switch out anything. We did everything as per charted and I think he's gorgeous. We're actually fighting over who gets him. So um, I believe we're going to go to Ikea to see if we can find some frames. I did see some last time I was there, but I didn't pick any up. The final diamond painting that has been finished from fan cells is this huge. This is the 45 by 85 waterfall that I had purchased. I started it middle of June and I finished it um, just the other day. So it has taken about a month because I did take a break from it to work on some on the Christmas diamond paintings um, and I wanted to get this one done before I start my diamond art club. So I needed the containers that I had these drills in and this one looks gorgeous. I absolutely love the way it turned out. My only issue is how I'm going to frame it now. What are we going to do to frame this beauty? There she is in the, that's pretty much the whole thing. So pretty. So, so pretty. I have a couple of others in this size too. I believe there's a cottage one that is landscape. I can't remember what else, but. It worked up so fast and easy because it's round drills. That's the one thing with the round drills. For me, they're fast. I can use multi-placers with them a lot easier. So let's just quickly go backwards so you can see them again. I hope you guys enjoy. This is probably the first time that I've been able to show some finished diamond paintings. And these have all been finished. Uh, in the last couple of months. When did I get my first orders? When was it? May. So the end of May to now is when all of these have been finished. And again, remember this is not fan cells. Um, yeah. And then we have the bookcases, or bookcases, <laughs> bookmarks, special book, and the clock. Ta-da! All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks, bye.